Welcome to Beauty Detective guys. For those that are new here, we're a product review channel in which we give our average consumer's point of view and tell you if the product is worth buying or not. Now in today's video, I'm gonna tell you what I liked and disliked about the Microsoft Surface Laptop 3. This won't be a technical video, but just so you know, this model has a 10th generation i7 processor, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, and 256 gigabytes of storage space. This modern 13.5 inches laptop is made of premium materials, the outside is fully metallic, and the model I went with has Alcantara lining around the keyboard, which I'll get to later. The Surface laptop is thin and light, with a weight of only 2.9 pounds, it's perfectly portable, and you'll be able to choose from different color options to better suit your personal style. If you decide to go with the Alcantara option, it's worth noting that it will be more complicated to clean and the Alcantara lining could get worn out by prolonged use. Ports wise, you only get a USB 3.1 Type A and USB Type C port, which in my view is not nearly enough. The power brick does offer an additional USB port, but solely for charging. Next to those USB ports, you'll find a headphone slash microphone jack, and on the right side, there's a magnetic power port, which is great if you accidentally pull on the charging cable. With that said, I do like the overall design of the Surface Laptop 3. The hinge allows you to open the lid with one hand, and the rear facing vent makes it perfect for using on your lap. I say perfect because as the laptop gets warm, which happens after about 45 minutes, the hot air doesn't blow directly on your legs. Moving on, the 3 by 2 aspect ratio does take getting used to, but on the other hand, with 348 nits, the screen gets reasonably bright, and the 121% sRGB color gamut means you'll get vivid colors and a good picture quality. Talking about image quality, the model we have here has a crisp 2256 by 1504 resolution, giving you lots of details when watching pictures or videos, plus it can handle 10-point multi-touch operations, and the strengthened glass mean it'll easily cope with day-to-day -day use. But as good as the display is, the screen can get quite reflective in bright daylight, and I think the bezels are too large, especially especially when compared to the Dell XPS lineup. It's actually in the top bezel that you'll find the 720p resolution webcam, which can be useful now that people are working from home. And to that effect, it even has dual far field microphones to help with conference calls. Now, if you have to do a lot of typing, you'll definitely enjoy the Surface Laptop's keyboard. The keys are large, which makes it easy to type. They offer good tactile feedback and adequate resistance. The glass trackpad adds to the pleasant experience. It's large and responsive, which makes it enjoyable to use. My only complaint are the up and down arrow keys that are quite small, and the fact that the delete and power button are too close to each other. The laptop does, however, have great speakers. In my opinion, the bass is surprisingly thick, the voice is clear, and the volume can get quite high in a quiet room. When it comes to battery life, you can expect around 8 hours, which is not too impressive, but it does have a standby mode which extends the battery life when the laptop is not in use. With that said, I'm confident you'll enjoy the Surface Laptop 3. It's light, thin, well built, and can definitely keep up with any task you throw at it. Now, if you guys enjoyed today's video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and we'll see you next Friday. Until then, Review Detective, out.